thank you very much uh, for that kind introduction. And Sophie, if you lower your arm, a second. Can everyone see, wow? <laughs> no. Wow. wow. <laughs> um, so uh, last year I was helping my niece prepare her personal statements, um, her ambition to go off to university. So I asked her what she was reading. Uh, not that much right now. Not the best answer for her uncle, the professor. But we, <laughs> we carried on, we pursued it. So I said, OK, well, what about your role models? And then she told me, she said, Rabbi Laura, her rabbi, a female rabbi. And I said, OK, why? She's amazing. <laughs> and I said, um, why? She just is. Well, OK. So then we talked a bit more, and I said, well, what else? Now, you've just gone to the cinema. You just went to the cinema with mommy. You went to see the Ruth Bader Ginsburg film, the film about the Supreme Court Justice, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, she's amazing. <laughs> and I said, yes, why? And she said, because she changed the course for women. I said, right, OK, let's pursue that. So we talked about this, about what she wanted to study, and about the place of law. And that law is a social process. It doesn't just happen. There's advocacy, there's argument, there's work behind the scenes. And it doesn't just stop. And I was reminded of this when I was reading recently the National Geographic. Um, and not just because I have aspirations to be or remain middle class, um, <laughs> but because we subscribe. Um, and, and as I was flicking through it, I saw a photo from the 1960s of some elderly alumni of Smith College, Women's College, in New England. And there was a sign which said, we've come a long way from Adam's rib to women's lib. Now, next to that, once one looks past the pictures of beautiful exotic birds, there was an advert for tours to northern Thailand, where um, if you, well, for a fee, you could enter the military-controlled villages where you could see women with ringed necks such that their tortured bodies had been so, well, that their collarbones had been so compressed by this that you could actually enter these villages and see them smiling as photographed right, right in National Geographic. And um, next to that as well was a statement about how far we've come. It was an article. And I questioned that, and I thought about this in the context of the work that I do in the area around modern slavery. And obviously, there's a certain pertinence in this this particular context too. And I sort of wondered, well, how far have we come? Now, interspersed in this issue of National Geographic, there were interviews, there were comments from various leaders, questions around um, what are your greatest strengths, opposed to 100 female leaders, and what are some of the greatest challenges? In response to the latter, the CNN journalist Christian Amanpour said, we need to get men on side. And that's arguably true. But I think it's very clear that none of us can be complacent, that there's a need to continue not only to extend the franchise, but to sustain the constituency, to keep finding support, to keep finding allies. And if law is a social process, well, education is even more of a social process. And here at the IOE, we train people to think at UCL, we pride ourselves on the development of cutting edge research, which is shaping the society, our society for today and tomorrow. But you don't need to engage in planetary science um, or send probes to Mars, which arguably is amazing. And I am thrilled to be a part of the UCL community when I see and hear about all of this extraordinary research that's taking place. But just to say to Alice, Holly, Judith, and Sophie, this is amazing. Today is amazing. Yeah. 
Thank you. And that this fits very much in line with UCL's tradition of progressive inclusion, of debate, of scrutiny, of research and learning. And I'm thrilled to welcome you. It's wonderful to have so many of you here. It is extraordinary to have a sellout, actually. Um, and just to be a part of this event. And I know so much work has gone into it, so much thought and preparation. And I wish you a most successful conference and look forward to hearing more about it and reading more about it. Thank you.